You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the options playbook the program where we break down cutting-edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the Options Playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA, and SIPC. Now, let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Public Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Ally Invest Senior Options Analyst and author of The Options Playbook. Last week we got together, we did a huddle up. Myself and Mark Longo from Options Insider answered a lot of your listener questions. We had a really great show. It was a lot of fun. It always is to answer listener questions. So this week we're right back into the swing of things. Uh, we've had a slew of earnings. Uh, the bank earnings overall uh, were a positive, I would say, uh, and a lot of the banks reacted positively. A lot of times it seems like when banks announce earnings, unless they blow them out of the water, the stocks have a tendency to uh, go down in price after a big run-up. They've had uh, such a solid year so far. Uh, But a big news here is really the VIX index being down below 16% implied volatility. We are taping Options Playbook Radio. It is Wednesday, October 20th. The markets are rocking and rolling as as we uh, tape the show today, and we're seeing the VIX right around 1550. But more importantly to me, I'm going out to November, December, January of next year, and we're seeing also the futures contract come down precipitously overall. In November, we're actually below the 20% level, which is interesting to note. And then uh, we're hanging around that 20% level as we go out further in time. So a lot of the angst is coming out of the marketplace. And I think a lot of it was caused by the debt ceiling, which was going on in, in our government. Uh, they decided to kick the can down the road, and that relieved a little bit of the angst uh, overall. But in general, the S&P 500 index is looking a little stronger than the NASDAQ, and we got Uh, And this week we have uh, earnings in all the FANG stocks. So Netflix announced earnings yesterday. They're down a little bit on the news today. Uh, Next week we have two big ones. We have Google and we have, or or Alphabet, and we have Amazon at the end of the week. Uh, Google is going to be announcing earnings on the 26th after the close. And we're going to look at a trade that's going to take place before earnings. So I'm going to do something a little different this week. Um, I am actually going to look at at a skip strike butterfly heading in to Google's earnings. So I'm not going to play with the volatility of that earnings report. Uh, We have Google down today. Right now it's trading at $2,837.43. It's down $27.31 on the day. And I'm just going to look at a real short-term speculative trade, not meant to be a recommendation, as always here on Options Playbook Radio. But we're going to look at going out of the money on Google And instead of selling an out-of-the-money call spread, we're going to do an alternative to that where we're going to bring in a smaller net credit, but we're going to give ourselves a a tad bit of upside. So right now, if I'm going to set these uh, 
butterfly skip strike butterflies up in general, which is an alternative to a short call spread. I always want to know what the marketplace thinks the potential move could be on that underlying stock. And right now, if I look at buying the most at the money call and buying the most at the money put, that's trading right around 30 bucks. Uh, we'll call the market 2840 just around up. So 2870 is an expected move. This could happen be before uh, before this expiration, which is October 22nd, this Friday. So we're going to actually buy that 2870 strike call. We're going to then sell the 2880 strike call. We're going to skip to 2890, which would make the butterfly. And then we're going to buy the 2900 strike call. Uh, that is done for a net credit at the midpoint of 15 cents at this point in time with the markets rocking and rolling. And since we're skipping the 2890, in that instance, we're going to be creating a requirement in your account. We're going to have risk from 2890 to 2900. That's 10 points of risk or $1,000. Now, on the way up, we have a little bit of protection. And this is part of the thing about doing uh, Skip Strike Butterfly in an expensive stock, especially just on a one butterfly basis, one by two by one. Um, the time premium has to go away. So if the market does start drifting towards your short strike, you have the benefit of the fact that you have, you are long the 2870 and short one of the 2880s. That's just a long call spread. We're doing it for a net credit of 15 cents. It means that if the market stays where it's at or goes down, we can make 15 cents. Not, not anything uh, to write home about, but you're, you're not losing money on the trade. If all the options expired worthless, you'd make that $15 less commission for every one by two by one that you did overall. So this is just a little bit of a different twist. Uh, we've had some volatility in the marketplace. It has came down a little bit. The NASDAQ stocks haven't done quite as well last couple of weeks in general. Market's looking a little bit stronger overall. But this is just an interesting trade because next week we're going to be looking at Amazon. We're going to have earnings on Thursday. We usually look at a earnings trade right around Amazon, uh, just something kind of fun that has to deal with the fact that Amazon always announces on Thursday and the option contracts expire on Friday. So it's going to be a little short and sweet. We don't really have a trade to review because we had a huddle up last week. But to review the trade right now, we are taping options playbook radio it is the 20th the market is open amazon or alphabet if you want to call it alphabet as opposed to google is down 27 points trading at uh, 2837 we're going to be buying the october 2870 strike call selling two of the 2880 strike calls and then buying one of the 2900 strike calls we're going to look to do this for a net credit of the to the account of 15 cents or 15 dollars less commissions overall you will have a one thousand dollar margin requirement to put this on but that risk only really applies at expiration uh, from 2890 to 2900, that last points in the width of the spread uh, on our skip strike butterfly. So that's it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. If you have a topic you'd like to discuss on the show or a question you'd like us to answer on the program, you send them directly to me at theoptionsguy at invest.li.com, and we'll try to address them in one of our huddle ups overall. Uh, also, if you'd like to learn more about what we do at Ally Invest, you can always follow me on Twitter. I tweet about all those events. My handle is very simple. It's just at my name, at Brian Overby. Thanks for listening. We'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish out. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. 
For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com.